So we're going to have a go at reproducing this wonderful picture by Joe Minoprio called Winsford Hill, The Faithful Form. Now, we're going to use, we're going to use a piece of cardboard like we did before, and our art materials today are going to be things that you can find out and about. A bit unusual today because we're going to try and use some natural materials. We've got, here's some of the raw material, we've got some blackberries. I did try some blueberries, but the blackberries work really good at the moment. So here are some blackberries that I've squashed down with a tiny bit of water, which we're going to use for our bluey, ready coloured sky on that one. And for the green, I've just used actually just some green food colouring, but you can squash up leaves, grass, anything like that to get a nice green. Right, we're going to use sponges today rather than paintbrushes, kitchen sponges. You can cut them with a knife, cut them with a pair of scissors to make them smaller so they fit in your tubs. The other thing we have today is a straw, paper straw, um, and we're going to use an old toothbrush and you'll see what that's used for in a minute. So to reproduce, have a go at reproducing our own um, faithful thorn, we're going to start off with the sky. So it's got a lovely bluey ready sky so we're going to use some of this blackberry cover our sponge and we're going to swirl right across the sheet going to do a bit of a horizon there at the bottom and we can just give it a bit of a mottled effect there fantastic so there's our nice That'll dry, that'll dry a little bit bluer as well. So now for the green, we're gonna use our food coloring. Again, a kitchen sponge in some of the food coloring there. We're gonna just swipe this across. Look at that, fantastic. Now the green had some little flecks of little dark bits that we're just gonna use our fingers. We're gonna use a brush, not a brush, a toothbrush. There we go. We're just gonna randomly put some flecks of dark blackberry in here. Spend a bit more time and squidge them on. Now, the tree itself. We're going to use this is the fun bit. We're going to use a huge lump of the raw blackberries that's been melted down. We're going to make a little pile like that there. That's great fun because you could even lick your finger when you're halfway through. Then, with our straw. We're going to blow out the shape of the tree. When you've got a bit blown out, you can then blow it sideways. Now don't worry about all the lumps because you can leave that to dry and those will just fall off when you actually have a dry finished item. We can just chuck those bits in a minute. So let's get our frame. So we have, let's have a look, we have our own kitchen and outside natural resourced version of the tree. 